and welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is May 25th, 2017, and we are honored to have Kat Wright with us in the studio today. Kat, take it away. Audio Tree Live with Kat Wright. Kat, so I feel like every singer sort of has an origin story where they sort of realize that they that this is something that they're really good at and that they want to do. Do you sort of have a story like that? Um, I guess a little bit. I mean, I never really planned on doing this, mm-hmm. um, and I didn't study music or necessarily plan to end up 
uh, running around with a band. Yeah. Um, but I did start singing kind of unprofessionally when I was really young, just with my friend, um, my best friend Maggie. And um, it just kind of evolved when I found Burlington, Vermont, and then met all these wonderful musicians. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I read somewhere that you were originally in a folk duo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what made you make the transition from the folk duo to uh, this project? Um, I think it was just happenstance. And yeah. I found myself in Burlington, um, and my best friend had moved to Florida, and I still wanted to make music, and I had met Shane um, in Burlington, and there was this um, opportunity to do a residency. Yeah. So we put together this group and originally just did soul covers because I had never done that and kind of wanted to do something different, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so you guys are all from Burlington. Or are some of you from other places in the Northeast? Or? Brian is from Boston, and everyone awesome. else is from the Burlington area. Jake lives in Montpelier, which is also in Vermont. Yeah. Yeah, so how, do, how does uh, living in Burlington sort of affect how you work and how you uh, play music together? Is there is there some sort of vibe in Burlington that sort of permeates the group or the art you make? Yeah, I think um, it's just such a great music town. You can go out any night of the week and find five bands that are worth, That's you know, awesome. having a beer and listening to. And so I think before we even got together as a group, everybody was playing a ton of music in Vermont and a lot of different styles of music too. Mm-hmm. It's a really diverse musical town. I know that it's known for some jam bands, but there's a lot of amazing jazz and there's a lot of amazing rock and there's a lot of amazing actually Americana and folk. So I think Burlington just being like a melting pot for really great people and music is kind of yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I've only been to Bur- uh, to Vermont a few times, but every time I go there, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, just I uh, I saw a video that was made that you were on the cover of um, a publication based in Burlington, and the uh, and just like you were just walking around and it was like raining and it was just like <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah, it's this a beautiful, beautiful city on the lake, and you have this epic view of the Adirondacks across the way. Oh. There's nothing greater. That yeah, I've seen. so yeah. it's still home base for all of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's perfect. <laughs> Come visit. Oh, I would love to. I'm going to take you up on that. Right on. Um, and so, but I've also seen that you uh, worked with uh, Vermont's lovely Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did. Um, we have friends that worked for the campaign, and when Bernie started um, going public with the campaign, they were looking for... Um, people to contribute in any way that they could. Mm -hmm. So a friend um, who was on the campaign said, I'd really love it if you contributed something. You know, it can be anything, but he kind of put it in my hands and my friend Brett Hughes. And um, I believe it was Brett's idea to do This Land is Your Land. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of put together like a super group of, um, with this band as the base and then adding a lot of really special guests from our community to do this version of This Land is Your Land that then um, Bernie's campaign shared um, in their social media outlets and stuff. And it was kind of like a a message uh, from him because he loves that song. And he also made a really weird recording of it in the 80s in the same building where we have our studio. So there's a many kind of lineage That's amazing. Yeah. Very serendipitous. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Were you able to like chat with him at all? Did he give you any sort of words of wisdom? I feel like he's (laughs) that kind of guy where he suddenly he'll just like impart something incredible upon you he is very old school and (laughs) especially in his interactions he's really frank like he doesn't have a lot of social niceties like he's nice but he's not like you know he doesn't pretend to be interested he's not like small talk kind of guy no not at all so he'll just be like i can see that how are you like thanks for being here and he's just like he's really like and he he's very genuine but he's not like a, sh- a schmoozer at all, which is really cool. So That is really cool. Yeah, but he's very heartfelt, and the times that I talked to him and that he addressed us as a group was really sincere and really um, stoic and inspirational. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Also a very good Bernie Sanders impression. <laughs> very <Thank> good. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, if you want to roll into the next two, take yeah. it away. This one is called Who's Your Fool? Who's 
Yeah, this next one is called By My Side. But at the end of the day 
die. I just hope to see you woman. When I get you in the dark, gonna let you feel the beating of my heart. Audio Tree Live with Cat Wright. Sounds awesome, guys. Thank Super you. tight. It's awesome. Um, so there's a lot of you here, and you guys have been on tour for a long time, and you guys are in, like, it's a pretty sizable van, but not, like, super big. So how do you guys, like, make it work? How you guys have it down to a science at this point? Oh, man. Someone else. Should we tell her that that's the big, we just got the big yeah, van? Yeah, we just got a big van. So that is actually, we feel like we're rolling around in, like... We feel like kings. We feel like kings. I yeah. feel like a queen. Yeah. Um, but we usually have been, for the past few years, traveling in a, um, a Ford, like, you know, what's that? What's that? Like, it's like a smaller passenger Econo van. Line. Yeah. yeah. You can only think Explorer, but I think those are small. No, yeah, it's the Econo line. <laughs> that would so, be horrible. It's an escape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in the other van, like, everyone's armpits are, like, always touching someone else. Oh. And everyone's <laughs> snacks are, like, always on you. And it's in hot. It was in your armpits. Yeah. It's just there's a lot of armpits. Yeah, there are. Think about yeah. it. There Not are 14 anymore. armpits. Now you can just like hang out. Yeah. Now the armpits can do their own thing. Yeah. Um, but no, we feel really spaced out in this new vehicle. It's amazing. Oh my god, I can only imagine just it, after so long in such a small car, just like I just lay out. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. You know? No one has to touch each other. Oh, or talk, but we do have like the greatest improvement of our vehicle uh, is now that we have, we realize that we could um, bring a karaoke microphone into the van and run it through the uh, sound system in the van. So we've been doing like a lot of harassing toll booth people and oh a lot of God. karaoke. So drives are flying by. You've been har wait, you've been harassing toll in, people in a nice way. I mean, like way. obviously, in a like, I didn't expect you guys were like bullying them. Yeah, no. In kind of yeah. way where you're just trying to like brighten somebody's day. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. We're kind of teasing them, but we're also the microphone is from this old karaoke machine from my parents' house. It's like an MTV karaoke <sighs> thing. So we um, sort of are pretending that we're from MTV. We're coming oh. for you, America. Could yeah. you like recreate that? Yeah. 
uh, Dan actually Dan? is our host when we're on MTV. Yeah. Yes, you, hello. Can you just... Is it like a... Wait. Is hello. It, what, no, no. Hello, yes. Hello. It's just... <laughs> do you want to you, you do it? Do you want me to host the show? Yeah. No? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you just take my job? Yeah, sure, All right, cool. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, could you host MTV real quick? As you would in the van? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I usually have had a couple beers at that point. <laughs> we and, have some if you need it. Right. But yeah, we're you kind, were, we're, this is a live thing. You were offered a beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. I was. That's I on you. I didn't know you put on the spot to do the thing. <laughs> I'm DJ sorry. Thing, All right. But. It's fine. It's okay. We'll no fly trivia. it in later. We'll send you some B-roll. Yeah, an we'll, do it in, we'll do it in post. <laughs> we have a lot of B-roll of Dan hosting uh, yeah, that's our true. show. It yeah. already exists. We'll send it to you. That's We're amazing. Good. Do you, what, What's your like go-to karaoke song at this point? Well, the most special karaoke moment so far has been when Jake on saxophone did... Um, the Shania Twain, what's it called? So you're still the one? You're no. Still the one I love. Still the one. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that was, he basically won the... the all the bananas. All of the bananas in the van. That's actually what the prize. That was oh, the prize. Yeah. Very, very exclusive. Yeah, and Dan was... A baker's dozen for you, sir. <laughs> Dan was in second place when he did um, the Crash Test Dummies song, mm, 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 yeah. what's it called? Mm, 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 mm. Which actually, <laughs> a very big distinction funny, from any funny other Funny enough, we iteration. actually discovered after that that Bob and I both had the same exact oh, first yeah. concert, uh, but not at the same not the same night, same, same venue, but same tour, which was the Crash Test Dummies opening for Elvis Costello, circa ninety three. I don't first know. First unchaperoned concert Ooh. going experience. I, I was chaperoned. Oh, oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Ooh. Lame. Yeah. Just kidding. I win. I get the bananas. You get the bananas for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please give them back yeah. <laughs> to him. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, you can roll into your last two whenever you're ready. Great. This, is, this one's called Feeling Strong. Whoa.
Thank you. Awesome. Well, you can roll into your last one whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, This is a brand new song. This one is called Contact.
Wow. This has been Audio True Live with Kat Wright. What a closer. Amazing. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Uh, you can <laughs> you can get Kat Wright's self-titled debut album. It's out now. And you can see her at Chilla Coffee in Chillicothe. Yes. At, I thought it was Chillicothe. Or Chilla, Chilla no Coth. one knows. Yeah, I asked a bunch of people and everyone was like, what? And then I got Chillicothe. <laughs> okay, that sounds so, official. Yeah. Uh, at Summer Camp Music Festival tomorrow night. Thank you so much to the sound engineers and to the camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful and for you for watching. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye. Thank you very much, everybody.